everyone welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we're going to make some hair clips and what we're going to do to start with is to cut out some of these little flower shapes. Now I'm going to use my Cricut to cut these out but if you don't have a Cricut you could do like a template on a piece of card and sort of draw around it and cut those out or maybe you could use like a, a punch or something that would just stamp the, the shape out for you. Now I'm using this felt and it's like um felt on kind of one side but a really stiff felt and it's sparkly on the other side so I'm going to use that and we did try to cut some out freehand but they ended up a bit of a wobbly shape so I'll be using my Cricut machine because that's just an easier way to do it and if I just move over to the screen what I've done is I've found just a flower basic flower outline and put that onto the Cricut design space and worked it out with an A4 sort of measurement and I've put down 20 so that will make 10 pairs if I've got you know maybe I've got a few that are going to be sort of errors and not work right so I'll just have to allow for that and we don't need to mirror it because it won't matter too much and I'll just press continue in a second but I'll show you what I'm doing with the mat first right so I've got it all loaded up and I've just stuck it down because when I did the test run um, it kind of buckled up and it didn't work very well so I've put tape all the way around this is quite an older um, cricket mat so don't use like your dead new one and stick this on that because that wouldn't be a very good idea um, and I've also got it to bonded fabric as well so it cuts down a little bit better but I'm just hoping it's going to cut okay I mean you could probably buy look that's one that didn't work you could probably buy these things from um a kid's craft like bag or something but they'd have shapes and stuff like that so you know you could always bear that in mind as well all right so I've come over to the computer now so we're just linking it up so set to fabric and that's okay so we've just got to do something on the cricket now so it tells you exactly what to press so you just press that in I think once it gets past this first row we'll be okay Press me seat, and then we'll start cutting. They are great little machines. That's going to cut out the little flower shapes for us, and then we'll move on to the next step. Right, here we go. This is going to be tricky to do one handed, so I might have to put you down for a minute, but. As you can see, they've cut out lovely. I just want to just want to quickly show you this. Look at how cool that pattern is. Do you know you could use that for like um, a stencil, couldn't you? That would be a really cool pattern for a stencil. Sorry, that had nothing to do with this tutorial, but I just thought that looked ace. That's another little idea for you guys. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to assemble these clips. So these are the um, the shapes that I cut out on the Cricut, and I've just got two here, two pink ones. We're going to use the sparkly side up, but if you can get some felt, which is sort of um, stiff felt, it doesn't have to be sparkly because I think they look really nice, just plain felt as well. And again, you can do any kind of shapes. Now, what we're going to do is to stick some buttons in the middle. Now, you can use um, any kind of glue, Gorilla, kind of sticky glue, and the, the super glue type. You can use E6000, and um, you just want something that's really, really sticky. So all you need to do is get yourself a little splodge of glue and we're just going to stick it literally, it's as easy as that, in the middle of the flower. And sometimes when you push it down you get some glue come up through the bubbles but after a minute I just wipe that away and it comes away quite easily if you do it before it sets. And then pop the other one on here. Now for the others I did some white buttons these I'm doing like a pink the same but like a different tone pink but you can mix and match the you know the colors that you put with what you know what buttons you put with uh, what color so we'll just let them dry for a second and I bought a bag of these hair clips online you can buy them from places like eBay AliExpress Amazon also Poundland have got these just cheap places like that sell these sorts of clips as long as they're the plain ones you'll be able to use them right so here's some i made earlier with the white buttons in the middle and all i'm going to do is pop a splodge of the 6000 
and then put your felt over the top and just make sure you check the back just to make sure it's neat you've got no splodges and just let those dry and honestly it's as simple as that now I've also done a slightly different design which I'll show you in a second similar sort of thing um, I'll just stick that down and they just need to to dry I'd probably leave them about 24 hours before you kind of package them up and I'm just going to bring a few others in that I've already done here these are all done and all dried I made these a couple of days ago ready for the video and what we'll do is we'll talk about some packaging ideas as well before the end of the video I'm just going to show you some others that I made I bought these buttons from the range I think it was I thought these were super cute there's all sorts of different sizes here we've got large medium and small and I just thought they looked super cute and I've got this ribbon here and all I did with these is you just get one of the usual clips pop yourself a dab of glue on the side and you just wrap around the ribbon so you're kind of going in and out and you you wrap it so it covers the um, silver part so you're covering all of that and just put some glue at the beginning some glue at the end so they're all covered and then what I did was just stuck one of these buttons on the top and if you are doing clips remember you need to do one one way and then do the other the other way like that so they stick on the head right if you're doing a pair so I'll use the middle size for that and I'll show you those um, I've just got a few packaging ideas to show you here these are the the ones that I wrapped up so you've got the the ribbon wrap around there and then you've got the the buttons on all I did with this got a piece of blank card put two little lines down put the hair clips on them put them in a little cello bag and then got a piece of card folded it over and just put something over the top you could maybe put um, stickers on it or anything like that you could say they're handmade something like that's nice and simple to do and I've just got a few here slightly different packaging to what I normally do all I did was cut these out of some 12 by 12 paper pads sometimes you get some really sort of funky sayings and um, again I cut out a piece of card and just put some cut some lines down the middle and snap the clips on those and I've just kind of done this with those so it's just something a little bit different or what you can do is just get a piece of white paper put a sticker on with your branding on and that, that's literally it so it's really really easy and I think they look so much nicer if you put them on a piece of card and put them you know in a little cello bag I think they look really really nice so that's about it really simple idea you don't have to use the Cricut if you haven't got a Cricut machine as I said to you before you can use like a, a punch a whole hole punch type thing you know what I mean um, or you can just buy some shapes that are already done in felt if you wanted to do that so that's it for me I'm just going to put the rest of these on some cards now and then I'm finished so I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon you take care bye for now